Hi everybody, I wanted to do a series about why narcissists abuse people, especially if they do love people, because they are actually capable of love, uh, so they think, but there are certain dimensions and aspects of the disorder that prevent them from fully understanding, expressing, and feeling love the same way that non-personality disordered people do. So they have love, but it's only certain parts of the love uh, experience, if you will. So the first thing I want to talk about is empathy, what it is and uh, how it relates to a narcissist. It's a well-documented fact, if you're not aware. What empathy is, is it's your ability to feel what somebody else is feeling or understand how somebody else feels. You're essentially putting yourself in somebody else's shoes, right? So when somebody loses their dog, right? You know, they have their, their dog put down and they're sad and upset. You can empathize with them on that, as most especially if you've lost a dog of your own, and you can say, oh man, that's rough. You know, I remember when I lost my dog. And you also feel sad, right? It's also the ability to feel the emotions of another person as they are telling you an emotional story. Like when somebody's telling you their survival story, for example, and as they continue to pour their hearts out about how hard they tried and no matter what they did, they were just never good enough and how no matter what they did, they were always wrong and, and how it just totally just, just yanked the rug of reality out from under them. And as you're sitting there listening to them, your heart just really goes out for them and, they really, and you feel uh, affected by their stories. So that's empathy, and someone who has a strong sense of empathy is otherwise known as an empath. Somebody who feels uh, based on uh, what other people are experiencing. However, with a narcissist, they do not have a well-developed sense of empathy, if at all. <laughs> if, at all. If, if at all. So they don't have the ability to experience the feelings of others they're completely mute to it so they hear these stories and that's that's how whenever you so so many times if you've been in an, a, a in a relationship with a narcissistic abuser how you just sit there and you just pour your heart out to them and they just sit there and stare at you and then they're like wow you need help Right, there's just uh, this cold, unfeeling reaction on their part, and that's because they 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 do not and cannot feel your feelings, even when you express yourself as emotionally as possible. Now they they can intellectually rationalize your feelings. They can say, I, you know, basically based on cause and effect. They can say, you know, along the lines of, I can understand how that would cause you to be upset. But they don't actually feel. So, it's an entirely intellectual exercise on their part in understanding your feelings. So, in their minds, they're not going to feel any different about you know, sh giving you a gift versus... Uh, abusing you and calling you stupid they're not going to feel any different between the, the two activities so whether they're loving you ignoring you giving you the silent treatment or hating you uh, you know and abusing you if they're not upset you know they're they're just going to feel however they feel they're not going to have your your feelings in in account and that's one of the the biggest contributors of what leads to abusive behaviors because they only feel their own emotions. And so over time, they start to get frustrated with you. Their frustration mounts. Estimated time and, and so time. they don't, they don't understand that they're a part of the cycle, that your feelings and your responses are reactions to them. They sort of rationalize it. Like, I can see why you're upset, but that's no reason for you to be angry and yelling, right? 
except for whenever they're upset and they start getting angry and yelling. And then, of course, when you try to, to speak back to them in, in the same language and manner that they use, they get offended. And you're like, well, that's how you treat me. And they're like, no, it's not. Because to them, it's, it's not the same because they now feel different and they only have their own feelings. So that's one of the most mind-boggling, frustrating things when it comes to a narcissist is the fact that when you reciprocate and treat them in kind, to them, it's not the same thing. It's completely different. They don't understand that you are now making them feel, or at least you're not, I guess, they, they don't understand that, that the feelings that they now have are the feelings that they've caused you. They only know that when, when they've hurt you, they felt a certain way. They did not feel what you felt. So when you hurt them and they get hurt, it's something else entirely. Because why? Because when they were abusing you, they were not hurting themselves. They were hurting you, but they never felt it. They may have known it, but they, they didn't feel the hurt or the pain that they were causing you. So then when you cause them you know, hurt and pain, it's completely different. Even if, even if you're, you, you painstakingly recreate everything about when they hurt you and you painstakingly recreate it against them in an attempt to try to make them understand how much they hurt you, they will not get it. They won't because of that reason. Because when they did it, they weren't hurting. But when you do it, they're hurting. So the two just aren't even the same. So that's the biggest contributor to what leads to abuse. The fact that as they get more and more hurt over time because they have such a low self-esteem, they are so incredibly sensitive and fragile, yet they have such an inflated ego. Over time, they only get hurt by you whenever you reciprocate. So to them, they're in a hurtful relationship and you're the abuser because they don't feel your feelings. They don't feel their contribution. So in their mind, they're acting in a defensive manner to you. The more you hurt them, then they say, well, I'm going to hurt you back. Well, that's, that's how it works, isn't it? Except you're being hurt and you're causing hurt back because you can feel it both ways and they can't. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope this makes sense. That's the pattern that leads to narcissistic abuse and why they don't feel bad about it is because they're the ones being attacked. They're the ones being hurt. They're the victim because the only time they feel pain is whenever you inflict it on them. Which is one reason why they act like you're such a bad person and they legitimately believe it. Because they're not feeling your pain. They're, they only feel the pain you cause when you cause it. So, I hope this makes sense. I hope this helps somebody. Please like or comment or share. I want to hear from people. Please let me know if you've had uh, an example of this happen where you've been in a relationship with an abuser and you've tried to help them understand by reciprocating and how it, that only made things worse. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next video.